So if you're wondering when you should refinance a car after you've bought it, then I am going to answer that question in this video because there are definitely some reasons why you should refinance a car and there's some reasons why you shouldn't. Now specifically, if you're asking when can I refinance a car, technically you can do that tomorrow if you want to because there are no set rules. So if anybody told you that you have to wait six months or anything like that, that is just not true unless it's actually stated in your contract and I've never seen that happen before. So if you wanna refinance, you can do it tomorrow or next week, but it's not necessarily the right decision and that's why we're going over when should you refinance your car. Now, the first reason you should refinance your car is very important because if you've got an interest rate that's a lot higher than what you can get at a competing lender, then you definitely should refinance your car as soon as you can because you're gonna be saving a lot of money in interest. Now, the way that you can tell what current rates are is just by doing some basic research. All you have to do is hop online, just check out your local credit unions and see what their best auto loan rates are. And assuming that you've got good credit and your income is in a good situation, then you probably can compete for those different rates. Because if you go out and get a car loan and let's say that the loan is $25,000, but you get a pretty high interest rate of 7% and then you finance it over 60 months, well, during the life of that loan, you're actually gonna pay about $4,700 in interest, which is a ton of money for just a $25,000 car. But if you refinanced, and let's say the best rate you could get on that specific car was a 4% rate, well, even at 4% with the exact same terms, you're gonna save over $2,100 in interest just because of the different interest rate. So it is definitely a good idea to refinance to a better rate if you can. So if you bought your car from a dealer and you feel like your interest rate is just a little bit too high compared to what you can get somewhere else, then definitely try to get a new rate with a refinance because you are gonna save a lot of money. And if you sign for your car and you don't actually know what your interest rate is, then definitely look up your contract and find out what that specific number is as an interest rate, because if it is too high compared to what you can get elsewhere, then you definitely should be refinancing. Now, if your credit is not in the best position when you want to refinance, then maybe it's a good idea to just wait a few months and build up some payment history so that hopefully your credit score goes up. But obviously, you've got to be making all your payments on time, not just your car payment. So try to do the best you can with your credit, bump it up, and then try to refinance. But you really shouldn't have to wait too long to do this. I'm talking just a few months. Because even if your credit isn't perfect when you refinance, as long as you're getting a better rate than what you started at, then you're on the right track to saving some money when it comes to refinancing a car. It typically doesn't cost anything to refinance your car, so technically you could just keep refinancing every time you wanna get a lower payment or a better rate, but you really don't wanna do that because you can easily end up upside down in your car. What you wanna do is try to keep the length of the new loan close to what you currently have left on your loan. So for instance, if you have 59 months left on your current loan for the car, then try to get a 60 month contract on the next refinance that way you're close and you don't end up upside down, meaning you owe more than the car is actually worth. Now, the next reason you might want to refinance your loan is if you originally had a co-signer on your loan, because going forward, it can actually affect their credit if you make any late payments or anything like that. So really, the best thing to do is get them off the loan. And the easiest way to do that is just to refinance unless there's something in your contract where you can get the co-signer off. But a lot of the time you have to get a new loan. But just remember, if you needed that cosigner to get the rate that you currently have and your credit's not much better, then you're probably going to need a cosigner going forward if you're going to need a better rate. So in that case, it's probably better to just wait until your credit gets a little bit better and then you can get rid of the cosigner for sure with a better rate. Now, the next reason you might want to refinance your car, and it's not really recommended unless you're in a serious emergency, because I don't want you just wasting money here and going upside down, but you can actually do what's called a cash out refinance, meaning you can actually take some of the equity that you have in the car when you refinance, and you can take that out as cash and use it for whatever you want. So obviously, if you're in a serious emergency, then maybe that cash is needed, but if you're just gonna go blow it on something, it's probably not the best thing to do with your car because cars are always depreciating. 
So let's say that your car is worth $20,000, but you only owe $10,000 on it. Well, with a cash out refinance, because you can take some of the value out of your car, let's say that you up the new loan to $15,000, you pay off the old loan at 10,000, and now you've got $5,000 extra money that you could use for whatever. So if you have credit card debt or anything like that, then it might be a good idea to pay that off because you're getting a better rate on the auto loan. Because if you did get a 3% rate, that's probably a lot better than what you're paying on your credit card, but you've still got to consider that you're getting a new loan of that new $15,000 and you've still got to pay that back. So either you have a higher monthly payment or you just make the length longer on your car loan and that's really going to be a problem because eventually you will end up upside down because like I said, cars are always depreciating. So just keep that in mind. You really only want to do this in an emergency or if you're going to take care of some really high interest debt and you're not going to continue to get into that debt and get out of the problem for the long term. And I want to make a quick point here that a lot of people don't want to refinance because they're afraid that it's going to hurt their credit score. And honestly, that's the craziest thing I've ever heard because if you are going to get a better rate and you're going to save money, you are going to have to have your credit score checked in order to get the loan because that is just a part of life. Whenever you get a mortgage, a car loan, a personal loan, anything like that, you are going to have to have a hard pull, which means that your credit score is going to go down just a tiny bit, but eventually it will go back to normal. And as long as you're just doing this a few times every couple years, it's really not going to be a problem for your credit score. And honestly, it could even be be better for your credit score to get a new loan because now you've established a new line of credit, credit history, and your payment history, assuming that you're making the payments on time and doing what you're supposed to, because all of that is actually going to help your credit score. So that new loan could actually be a good thing. Now, if you're wondering where you should go to refinance your car, I'm always going to recommend to just check with your local credit unions because they typically have very competitive rates. And then if you want a direct source, I would recommend checking out Lightstream Loans. I've got an affiliate link to them in the description below, which means I may be compensated if you click through it, but they've also got very competitive rates. So check them out if you have an interest, but thanks for watching and hopefully you guys learned something new.